Hi there everyone and welcome back to another lesson. In this lesson, we will be looking at such five shortcuts in Excel that can be used to make your work more efficient and effective. Instead of using long methods and conventional ways of doing things, these shortcuts will make your work much easier. So let's get started. Right here, I have five different shortcuts that we can use in order to copy, paste, cut, undo, and redo the actions that you do in Microsoft Excel. The first thing we're going to look at is the Control C option. Never mind, but most of the times we have to copy paste the data from one Excel sheet to the other. And it can be pretty hard selecting different data and then right clicking, going to copy and then moving things. You can simply use the option of Control C by selecting a particular range of cells. In this case, I'm going to show you how to do that. I have this column named rank. If I want that this column should be repeated in the age column as well, I will simply select that particular range of cells which I want to copy. Now you can see there are a total of 11 rows that are selected from row 6 till row 16. Right now we have only selected. When you press Ctrl C on your keyboard, you're going to see that the boundary for those selected cells has changed. It is dotted now. So the dotted boundary shows us that this particular range of cells is copied. Now you can simply go ahead, paste it anywhere you want, and it will be duplicated. The second option is related to the first one. We have the shortcut of Control v which means paste. Since in our previous shortcut we have already copied the cells, let's go ahead and try how we can paste it using Control v As I had said earlier that we have this column of ranks in column B, let's try pasting it in column H. And we will use Control v you will simply select the cell from where you want your data to be started to get copied. So this means that if I have selected H6, so this means that in this particular cell, the heading of the rank will appear. So I'm here, I will press Ctrl V, and now you can see how simply and effortlessly you can copy paste the content which was selected initially. Now I will show you how we can use Ctrl X to move the data from one place to another and deleting that data from that previous place. For that, first of all, we will select the range of cells from where we want the data. Instead of Control C, we are going to press Control X. Now you can see that the area or the cells that I had selected is showing a similar expression of dotted line, but in this case, it's not copied. In this case, it is cut, meaning that next time, wherever I select a certain cell and press Ctrl V, the data is going to be shifted. It's not going to be copy pasted. That is how you can use Ctrl X. There is a little bit of difference between Ctrl C and X, which is Ctrl C would cause the replication of data and Ctrl X would actually move the data from a particular area to its new position where you have selected the cells. Now the next thing we're going to look at is really important. We all wished we had it in our lives, which is Ctrl Z, meaning the option to undo the last action you were doing. Don't worry, it does not only remove the action which is done lastly, but it can remove certain actions, maybe five or six commands you have given already before clicking Control S. If you have not really saved that particular file yet and you want to remove the changes you've made, in this case, I want this rank column to come back in column B, I want this rank replicated column in H to be deleted. For that, I can simply use Control Z. So now I will simply show you how we can use Control Z. I am pressing Control Z once, and you're going to see my last action of cutting the column of rank is undone. Then I'll press again and again 
and you can see that we have the same original file back again using Control z for undoing the last actions you did. The last shortcut we're going to look at is the Control y which is redoing an undone action. Sometimes we accidentally overdo Control z and we need to redo things. So in this case, if I want that replicated column of ranks to appear again in column H, I will simply press Control y and you will have to press it several times depending upon how many actions you have undone. So when I pressed Control y the second time, this particular column appeared again. So guys, this is how we can use Control c Control v X, Z, and Y in order to do five simple and yet difficult tasks in Excel because most of the times if you go ahead and do it manually by right clicking, it takes a lot of time and effort. So in order to make your Excel usage more effective and efficient, and if you want to be a mastermind of Excel, that is all for this lesson. Thank you very much. Take care. Goodbye. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.